Let's go. All right, welcome back, trader. It's Tim with Irvin here. Welcome to our pre week analysis today. We are going to be reviewing what we did on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, and what we did as well on our Saturday video. So, so let me know if you guys have any question, if you guys want to participate or do whatever you have to do. Uh, if you guys have any issue hearing me, please let me know. Uh, I think I'm sharing the, the screen. I just wanted to make sure. Guys, can you guys see my screen? I just want to make sure. I don't know. I, I think I touched something on the screen. Uh, can someone unmute? Anthony, can you unmute and let me know if you can see the, uh, or anyone. I just want to make sure that we are doing it correctly. Um, I think it looks good in here. All right, let me see. There you go. All right, cool. So can you guys can you guys hear me? Elio, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. I was just nervous that uh, it was not going through. All right, so let's let's go ahead and uh and start. So we're gonna go ahead and start uh analyzing the Euro USD. This pair I gave you guys this pair on Saturday. This is what I told you guys on Saturday the market was going to do. I said the market still was going to push back down a few candles, one or three candles, the exactly what I told you. From there, the market, I said, was going to be bullish, retesting our 38.2 Fibonacci, which is this level here. It just broke a little bit of it, but it did exactly what I told you. And it went, uh, it went more for more pips still. From there, I thought the market was gonna drop down. No market pay you even more pips and then the market did exactly what I told you and it dropped all the way to our restarting point. Because in my opinion, guys, uh, this pair here, uh, I'm doing this live with you before I uh, put this video on YouTube. So the YouTube world don't have access yet to what you're seeing. But I, I believe uh, Euro USD is gonna uh, drop Pay attention what what is doing in real time. In real time, this pair here is giving us a bearish position. So see here, candle already close. So it's just pushing more. By my opinion, from here, from right where the market is sitting, market will drop back down to the zero level. Either if not, we'll come back to the 23. Let's say it comes to the 23, still gonna give you a nice pips in there. And then from there, market will rebounce back to the 38. Then we continue back down. So the, remember, Euro USD is selling. It's not right now. It's just doing the PV, but the PV is over. This guy is letting us know that this is game over. So I am on that on that pair. To be honest, I just entered before I did the class. Let me check my phone because I was. Uh, let me see if I'm winning or not. Um. I'm negative three dollars. It's fine. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna trust what I'm doing here and, and go with the system. All right, but today I was copying the market. To be honest, guys, today was a great day. 788 is not a bad day. It's an awesome day. And I see that a lot of you guys also are scoping and doing very well. So I'm very proud of you guys. And hopefully everything makes sense. So this is this works out pretty good. But uh, let me know, guys, if you want me to uh, keep going or show you uh, the scoping method as well, in case you were in that trade, because the other part, the other world, don't know the, the rest of it, and um, so like that, you can compare one and another one. But this one works out pretty good. All right, let's go to USD JPY. Pay attention to what I told you here. My job here is to uh, win at least 75% uh, of every trade that I take week after week. So, so far, this is the first week of November. We are trading a very, very unique week, guys. I thought this week was going to be weird. Remember, we are trading uh, the election season. So, uh, the election is not over yet. There's still 
uh, is still they're still counting votes, but our multiple time frame is to be honest, is on top notch. It's working based on what I told you guys on Saturday and Sunday. This this is what I'd say on uh, on Saturday. The market still is gonna be bullish, retesting that 38, right? Perfect hit. Look at that hit. Gorgeous guy. This is beautiful. And from there, I said market was gonna drop. Perfect hit. Gorgeous. And from there, I said market was gonna be bullish. Look at right now. Signal just gave us a bullish position. So right now the market is doing exactly what I told you on Saturday. <laughs> Gotta be patient. USDJPY is in a buy position. I just don't like to be in a buy position, but you can aim, you can grab some pips out of it. Today I also scalped gold. Gold pays very well as well. It was good. It was good. I don't complain. I just follow the rules and bingo. All right. So far, so good, guys. Any question? Please let me know. I'm here anyway. You here? Comment below, or you can uh, mute yourself and ask any question that you wish. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do Euro uh, Euro GBP. I'm also I'm on this trade, guys. I aim. Uh, I was going back and forth. I was doing the uh, sell and a buy. So, and I the bank both way. But this is what I told you guys on Sunday. I said on Sunday, market still is gonna drop a few more candles. Look at that head. Perfect, guys. Gosh, sometimes it's just so damn accurate. And from there, I said market is gonna come back and retest that 38, right? That 38 to our 50. Why? Because these guys were here. Perfect hit. Boom. Look at that almost to that level. And then from there, I said market was gonna be bearish. Because remember, the market here is bearish. This is the boss here. Euro GBP is in a bearish position. I love this guy here. Right now, remember, Euro GBP is bearish. If I'm gonna be putting a tray on this pair, I'm not gonna go bullish anymore. I will be going in a bearish position. You have to be patient. Look at who come in, one, two, already read that telling you the market now is gonna drop. So I don't know if I'm on this trade because I re-entered in a couple of trades before I activated uh, this uh, session right now. Let me put one more trade on Euro USD as a sell. Uh, and let me check Euro GBP. What am I doing on that one? I'm down one, I'm negative $2.82. It's fine, it's fine. I'm on that one as a sell. This is real time. You gotta be patient. Mark is not gonna pay you right away, but it's doing that. So, so far I already bank either way. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Just be patient and let the market do his thing, all right? All right, so now let's go ahead and analyze gold. I already uh, bank on gold. I bank on, on this drop here, boom. I make a little bit over a hundred bucks and that was it. I said, you know what, this is scary. Let me grab my hundred dollars, walk away and bingo. But this is what I told you guys on Sunday. On Sunday, I said the market was still gonna drop a few more candles. Look at that. It didn't come in all the way, but it came halfway. If you would have put your trailing stop in there, believe me, your market would have, would have reward you well. This is not a bad trade. And then from there, I said the market was gonna be bullish. I thought market was gonna be bullish and retesting the 23, market went all the way up, guys. This is good. This is game over. This, uh, remember, this guy here, uh, goal is in a sell position. It's not in a buy position. In my opinion, this uh, pullback is over, game over. So now as the sellers took place, look at here. We're looking only for sell, sell, sell. This is the boss here. See the magic arrows there? This magic arrow here is in a PV. Remember, PV equal BB. So right now we are selling. Look at right now. It's telling us market is in a sell. Market is dropping, guys. Market is not going up. Market is dropping. So in my opinion, this is good. So we got how many trades so far? One, two, three, four trades. All the video that I gave you guys on Saturday is accurate. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Pay attention what, what I gave you. This is the Sunday video here. This is the USD password. Sarah, 
when we did a live session yesterday, Sarah took this trade here. And, and I told her not to get out in a sell position. And hopefully she did not get out on this one because if she is still on this trade, she is banking very, very healthy in here. But look, this is what I said. I said the market was going to drop your candle, sure. And then from there, market was going to be buy. Boom. It came in retest at 38. And the market, remember, market was bearish. At the end of the day, market is bearish. Sarah, I think Sarah got in somewhere in here. That's what she said yesterday. And then she took all the, she, hopefully she's still on this bad guy. I told her yesterday, if the market, guys, you were here with me. So if the market come and retest this uh, brothers and sister here with a magic arrow to consider exiting her uh, uh, tray in there. Look at that, perfect hit. Perfect hit, Sarah. Hopefully you're here. If you're here, this is the time you need to walk away. That is a perfect entry and a perfect exit. Game over. Yes, the market, in my opinion, may drop more in here, but it's gonna come back and get in on the zero Fibonacci level. From there, market had to take a break. It had to breathe. And boom, market most likely is gonna come back to this level here. Look, one, two, three, yes, to the 23 Fibonacci. Then finally, next week, market will continue in a sell position. It's this simple. No magic there. Now, let me go ahead and, and give you guys, uh, let me show you the scalping system. Look at this one. This is, this is told you the market. Look at here. Here was in a buy. Buy is over. Boom. Sell. Boom. There was in a buy here. Came, it was still in a sell position here. Came and retested 36. Look at this guy popping in here. And boom. That's what I told her yesterday not to get out. This was good. So this is good. Hopefully she's still on this trade. Plus everyone here is letting us know the market is in a sell position. All right, let's go to uh, GBPUSD. Pay attention to what I told you guys on GBPUSD. I said the market was gonna be in a buy position. I don't think this is a winning trade, guys. The week is, is too big. Uh, let me see how many pips. If you would have put 30, 40 pips, uh, let me see from here. Oh yeah, this would have take you out. This is a uh, this would have take you out. Unfortunately, this is it's nothing you can do. This is gonna happen. So out of five, out of six, this is the first one that, in my opinion, is gonna take us out. But it pay it, it play out pretty good at the end. It just took you out for what to reverse correctly, going as a buy position and then reversing back and then continue back up. It's messed up, but hey, it happens. So our win, our, our goal here is to win at least 75% uh, out of 100. But this one is it, so freaking messed up because you would, uh, I mean, this, I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's maybe because the election that we are going through, I just don't know. This is a USD, peso, I mean, USD uh, GBP, so, but, I mean, it took you out for what? Just to go back to the same location. And this is a good amount of stop loss. 70 pips, is, is, that's a lot. I use between 30 to 60 sometimes. Sometimes I go to 80, but still, this would have scared me out. This is a huge drop and then boom, reverse back up. Now, let's go ahead and pay attention. What was, the, what was going on on the... Uh, on the scalping strategy, because that is, ooh, look at this. This is what I love the scalping, guys. I don't know what um, what kind of templates you guys gonna be using from now on, but this is good. If, like, I don't wanna show the world this one here, because even if I show them, it's fine. Then they still don't have the, uh, the multiple time frame. But I think I made a mistake on, on Sunday. If I would have followed here, I would have tell you guys the market was still in a, it would have been in a bearish position. It was still in a bearish position. Look at this. I would have said, yes, market was going to come back down, drop more. And then finally from there, boom, market was going to back up. 
because the market was dropping here. Pay attention to, to the RSI. The RSI was dropping, right? So it still was coming down. It was getting ready to go in a buy position, but it was not fully ready there yet. This is why we've been training days after day. So we're looking for rules. Once these guys pop in, brothers and sisters as well, with them, uh, PSR and your uh, RSI came over. This would it be a, a winning trade if I will not use that. But this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm, what I'm gonna do is on Saturday, I'm gonna pay attention to this template and then I'm gonna go back to the other template and release it from there. I want you guys to copy my strategy, guys. Go back and check or either save one template so when I do my analysis on Saturday and Sundays, you will be a beast. Everything will make sense, but you need to do your homework a little bit more. Whatever I'm gonna give you, remember this is not signals, but they are very, very accurate. All right, so, so far we got one out of what? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So still, we're still in what? 95% winning ratio? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. All right, let's go to the next one. I think this was great. It's a great, I mean, it took hours. Oh, look at this one. Uh, let me see how many uh, pips this one dropped. Because if you, if, you if you would have put 30, 40 pips, market would have taken, oh, yes, this would have be a bad trade. 14, 15 pips. I thought the market, actually, yeah. Game over. This would have take you out too. How many pips is this? Let me see. Actually, nah. Uh, yeah, would have take you out. No choice. No choice. And this drop, this one, what, what 45 pips? Yeah, most likely, probably not, guys. If you would have put 30, 40, 50 pips on this one, market almost took you out. It would have give you uh, three uh, pips, uh, you know, to breathe. Other than that, boom, market the drop. But I don't like it. So we just kind of call this as a loss. But let's go ahead and bring that uh, the RSI here and see what the market is. Look at this one. Can someone correct me on this one? Guys, can someone unmute yourself and correct me? This is good. This is good for you to correct me. I just realized the mistake, but I don't know if you guys can see the mistake that I was doing. I predicted the market to drop, but I predicted wrong. Now that you're seeing this, you should be able to say, okay, Irving, I see that you were wrong. Because the market, to be honest here, guys, market's still pushing up. And I say here, market was going to drop. So who was wrong? Me. You were right here. If you said that the market was going to be in a buy position. Ali, are you there? Yeah. What do you think about this? This is a good one to, to ask question. Or either you, whatever, however you're going to ask the question and explain it. This is a good one. Because I gave you a guy here a sell. Right. That was one that I wrote down with a question mark saying, why would you do that? Good. That's it. Because the master trend is, about, is bullish. Right. Yep, this is a this is a good mistake. Yeah. And even when you look at the this new template that we have, um, the uh, Sunday when when you did this when you did this, the parabolic was in a, a buy position too. Correct. And uh, yeah, so it wasn't until later. Um, like the next day that the parabola changed and the RSI went up, uh, uh, went up uh, past uh, the reversal point Yep. for a sell. Good job. Thanks. That's, that's good. Look, guys, he explained it well. This is, I made a mistake here and he just correct me the right way. This is it. I should have not said the market was going to drop here. Now, Guys, I don't know what kind of template you guys want to use or if you want to merge everything into one or you can keep doing what you're doing and don't use this copy method. But this is great to have both because this right now, guys, is clear. Look at what the market is doing. 
market was is still doing a PV right now. Oh no, it's going with the trend now. It's clean, letting us know the market is going in a PV. But all the rules are now well met here. So in my opinion, Elliot, what do you th you think this is a valid trade or not? Oops, sorry. Well, I'm using the full template, like like what you have. Um, and uh, if you look at the RSI, it hasn't retested the buy area yet. So you think it's a good trade or bad trade? Mm, it's not ready. It's not ready. Good job. <laughs> That's good, Elliot. That's Thanks. Good. That's good. Guys, this is not a good trade yet. Don't be guessing. Go by, by the rule. Look, Mark is not giving you any signal yet. They just don't know what to do on this one. Don't, don't be in it. This is a good one. This is a good way to learn a mistake. All right, two mistakes out of seven, right? So five out of seven, okay, we're still on the, what, 75% winning rush. All right, let's go to uh, Eero AUD. Hey, Herbie. Yes, sir. Hey, you know something? I use this every day to confirm what you're doing. I go back and forth between our regular um, uh, system, and then I go back to this, and I confirm my moves every day. So, I mean, this, this parabolic system is, is on point. Yeah. Make sure you uh, – you can use only one, to be honest. Just save it uh, instead of having multiple. The, the thing is that I have multiple is because uh, I teach, you know, outside uh, to, to the YouTube world. But uh, if you guys want to use and merge everything into one, that's all it is because we're trading with rules anyway. So our, the rules never change. We're looking for trend. We're looking for brothers and sisters. We're looking for continuation of the trend. Boom. That's it. Now we're looking for the RSI and, and the other rule if you want to be scoping the market. But you, you have both systems into one. Now you, you master everything and everything becomes only one, one story instead of going through back and forth. But this yeah, is that's the only difficult thing some of the time. It gets a little confusing because you're swinging back and forth on your screens. But um, I use this parabolic RSI to, for, to verify 80% of my trades now. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So this was a clear, uh, a clean mistake. So Elliot has explained this well. Um, I mean, it, it happens. Mistakes going to happen. That's why we have stop losses. There's nothing you can do. But it was a clean mistake. All right, so we got two losses so far. Let's go check what Euro AUD is doing here. Perfect hit. Look at this one. Huh. Goodness. Look at what I mentioned on Sunday. I said on Sunday, Marco's going to do what? Marco's still going to come back and retest that 61 point FAB natural line. Perfect hit. Boom. From there, I said that Marco's going to do what? Boom. It's going to drop. If you, if you go back to the other, the other system here, Mark is still going to tell you, yes, Mark is still in a bearish position. I, I don't know yet, but we're going to do it right now. All right. So now, Let's go there and check it. This worked out pretty good. So we got eight out of two. So we two bad and, and what? And, and six good ones. Five, eight, right? How many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, six. Six out of two. It's not bad. I'm still in a 75% winning rush. Uh, let's see what our scoping strategy is doing. Look at this. I told you. I told you, I just called this leg here. Market was going to do what? That's more, I think it was a, a reversal, right? It's more reversal. And then, boom, Marco's was going to come back down. Now, uh, um, Harold, now that you're seeing this here, look at how clean this stuff is, guy. Now you would have had the option to say, you know what? I'm going to stay in it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to call this trade a sell because that's exactly what the market is doing. And boom, you would have taken that as a sell position. Still in a sell position. Now, if you pay attention in here, market, market is giving us a signal of a what? But is it ready? Who want to answer this? This is a good one. Is Sarah here? Sarah loves to participate. I don't think she's here. Oh, she's here. I am, yeah. Sarah, I... what do you think this yes, one is doing here? Still it's sale. Yeah. 
Why do you think it's a cell? Because did you see the power uh, uh, PowerPoint is everything is down anyway, so still it didn't change nothing. Yeah, even though look at what yeah. the system the system is giving us a what a reversal signal, but it doesn't mean yeah. because the reversal signal is there. You is are you gonna be taking that by position yet? No, yeah. you wait. Most likely what is gonna continue happening on here is this guy is gonna still pushing down, send him in here. Yeah. Like, maybe by tomorrow, we're gonna start seeing a movement going on the other side, but the market is still selling down. There's no strength yet of the buy, uh, buy position. So yes, yeah. you're right. This, okay. this, this <laughs> still in a sell position, nothing wrong. So now that you guys know both way here, it, look, trading is easy, guys. Just follow follow the map <laughs> rules and stick to it and find your niche. Once you know that you, whatever is paying, you stick to it and you are going to be fine. Hey, Irv, even if you went down to the five minutes right now, you still wouldn't take that trade, would you? Remember, Mark is still pushing down. So, right. so most likely the five minutes is... is Let's see what the five minutes doing. Because that's a good question. Now. Five minutes is uh, on sale. No. Uh, five minutes not giving you anything. What are you okay. seeing here? Hold on. Let me come back here to the end. Yeah, I can't see the screen. Hold on. Let me. I hate when this happened, but let me stretch it out. Maybe yeah. the double click on the side is going to stretch out fully. Yeah, it does, but sometimes it's fast. Click. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. Look at here. Not, there's no signal there. Right, right, right. There's no signal there. Well, actually, it's still showing you down. Yeah. So if you were to take that signal, actually, this guy here is letting us know the market is doing what? Going down. What is this one telling you here? That it's selling. Look, it came and it broke your 63 uh, retesting area. Okay, fine. That's a mean because it broke it. Look here, it was somewhere in here or somewhere in there. That it, it, the signal was not fully ready there yet. Now the signal came in somewhere in this area here, right where it broke the 63 level, your retesting area. Then you got a continuation of what? Remember the market is selling. Now, if you go bullish, just because you want to go bullish, you're done. <laughs> that is not rude. That's when you market will take you out. Market here is still selling. Look, look at the crossover right now that is happening on the five minute. It crossover now. We all, we all know the market is still pushing down. So we got no signal yet. Not even the five minutes telling you to go uh, as a buy position yet. Okay. Okay. Good. Thanks. This, this is a good one. All right. Let's go to the next one. So far, we got only two uh, losses for this week, for the week of o November. October was 100%. I guess we're getting revenge on November. Pay attention to what I told you guys here on, on gold. Oh, AUD, uh, USD. I'm sorry. This pair here, I say on Monday, the market, on Sunday, the market is still going to push up. Retesting that 23 Fibonacci line. Now, what was the stop loss here? 30, 40, 50 pips. Definitely, uh, this is a good one. 38. So this is a good one. So you would have be, you would have win on this trade. Put your trailing stop on here. Let's say you would have put it in there because sometimes we don't know how long it's gonna, how far it's gonna go. Look what happened. Boom! It paid all the way up. Ran out. Market has given us a sell position. That's clean. This is a good one. Now, what is the other template letting, telling us this, what's the story behind this trade here? Ah, God, the, guys, this is good. This, this is going to be good. It's getting ready. This is going to be a great trade here. I like it. Add this to your to-do list. This is going to be great, guys. I love this pair here. It's, it's going in our, with our rules, 100%. Just be patient. When this guy pop in, in here, just take, go with it. 
Because the trend here is bearish. That's what these guys are telling us here. Look at that, sell, sell, ah, gorgeous. This is gonna be good. <laughs> this is good. Clean and no drama here. All right, uh, let's go and check uh, what gold is doing. This is silver here. Let's see what silver is doing. Let me delete all this stuff here. God damn it, I hate when this popping in here on the bottom. Bear with me. All right. Ah, look at that one. We got three out of three out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So seven out of three. We did we analyzed this week 12 pairs. So three out of seven, still 70% winning ratio. We still got two more to go. And guys, we are trading the most weird week in history in Forex, which is what we're going through. We're going through elections. So I thought the market was gonna collapse, guys. Or like, I don't know what was gonna happen. I, nobody knows. But our analysis is, is, is top notch here. But this one, unfortunately, it went out against us. Now let's go ahead and bring the other template. Uh, Elliot, uh, whoever wants to do it with the other template, please unmute yourself. But look at, look at the mistake I have here. I don't know what is on the other side. Now is when you will realize yourself that you know so much. Pay attention. Ah, look at that. Now is the exact same mistake I was making on GBP USD. And that's exactly what Elliot was correcting me. It happens again on this one. That's when you now realize yourself like, wow, I know more than what I thought I knew. Look, market was not ready to drop. Why did I say the market was gonna drop? I was wrong. Now you see in here, look at this guy. This guy telling us it's not by position. Everything is in a buy. Look at this guy, he's telling us it's in a buy position he, here as well. Look, it came back, it gave us the signal right at the, at the uh, retesting area, right at the 36 level, right on the heart of it. It gave us the signal to be in a what? In a buy position. Why in the hell I told you the market was gonna be in a sell position? I go, well, a mistake is a mistake. So three out of, how many, how many did I lose? Three, right? Three, three out of seven, hey, not bad. Still 70%. But the market here was still in a buy position. Now we're seeing a reversal, sure. But I don't like this reversal here. It did not come and meet the rules. It came a bit short. I wanted to see always break that 70, uh, 63, 75, 84. Then let all this guy pop in and came in action. And then you, you're going to call the trade. But this is another great mistake. So three. Three is nothing, guys, to be honest. Three is nothing. <laughs> yeah, I usually, when I lose a trade, guys, this is what I do. Let's say I lose the trade here as a sell, right? So I wait until, until it, gets, it gets tired when it's time for the reversal. Whatever I lost here, I put it two, three times in here, boom. And then I write it back. And then at the end of the day, I am in a blue uh club i'm not here to be losing money i'm here to make money i make money get out i close one or two trades when i'm making profit whatever i lost here i recover it and make some pips and then i let the other trade run and that's it if the market reverse and take me out fine but it's a guarantee pips that's what i do all right, so let's go see what GBP JPY is doing. I think this was a outsider who asked me about this pair here. If I'm not mistaken, it was an outsider. Uh, I think he wanted to uh, come and join us. And, and I think he was trading on Traders View, if I'm not mistaken. 
But this is what I said it was that the GBP, uh, JPY was gonna do here. I said the market was gonna be in a buy position. Look at this call here, perfect. I thought the market was gonna stop here at the 38.2 Fibonacci line. Nope, market did what? It continued. How far is it gonna go? Sometime, I don't know. I can predict it based on the uh, previous brothers and sisters and four hours as well on previous history of support and resistance. But sometimes, I mean, this is a weird week, guys. Market is, it just, it seems like all the uh, levels that are predicted, it continue uh, the, either the bullish or bearish uh, market. But there's nothing is wrong with this. If you, if you would have put your trading stop in there, most likely you, you would have been a beautiful, nice profit. And then look at here, boom, market drop. Now, the question here is, what is the other guys doing? Scalping strategy, right? Ah, look at this gorgeous guy. Look at this, Elliot, Harold. Look at this. Oh my God, Sarah, look at this one. How can you make a mistake so freaking clean? Boom, boom, boom. Everyone is telling you the market is in a buy position. Nice. This was great. So we got what? Eight out of three wrong. Maybe. Yes. You know, this one, he showed you it is, it's, it's coming down, isn't it? Yes, right now, yes. But the, what I gave you guys on Saturday, I said the yeah. market was going to be in a buy position, then was going to drop. So okay. right now, yes, you are right. So right now, it's Because yeah. the five that, minutes is going very down. Oh yeah, this is a huge drop. If you go to the five minute, it's in a, yeah. it's a massive. I'll go side drop. to side, the five minute and four hour. Oh, you put them side by side, right? The, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, where was your entry? Your entry was here, right? No, I didn't, I didn't enter really, to be honest, but I just check in now with you. Look at this one. The four hours is here, the arrow is here. Yeah. This is a gorgeous drop. And the monster trade is uh, Look at that. Oh my God. I'm telling you guys, this is, you guys have to make money, man. This is not hard. This is not hard at all. Look, market is still dropping. We saw in the four hours, the market is dropping. So it's not doing anything else saying, okay, we are going to be do, doing something else. Market is simply dropping all right all right let's go see what gbp aud is doing so so far we got three losses and a winning so or seven so still we're still in that 75 can, can you do the usd card uh usd card uh let me check if i did that in here so what i'm reviewing here i'm reviewing what i did on saturday Look at here. Look at what, before I go to USD Canadian, let me go ahead and analyze the last one here. Look at what I gave you guys on Saturday. I said on Saturday, Sunday, I'm sorry, market was gonna drop, perfect hit. Then it was gonna continue up. No, nope, market, boom, it dropped more. It's nothing wrong. So we, out of, out of 12, only three trades went against us. Not bad, guys. This is not bad. Now, the question here is, what was the other guys doing here? On the other, look at this one. This is a, this is a, thanks God, my analysis worked out pretty good. But overall, here market was what? It was still still in a sell position. If you are telling me right now, Irving, the market is in a buy position, just because our system is here letting us know, hey, Irving, we are in a buy position. You're gonna enter yet in a buy? No, wait no signal go back and, ch and review that video that i did for you guys two three days back it will help you now while we come in here is kind of like overview quick 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 because you already know but go back to the video and take your time go over it and and, and it's gonna help you but next sunday you're gonna make more money this is this is a piece of cake man all right, so uh, let me go ahead and check. Uh, what was it, sir? What pair was it? USD CAD. Uh, I think I'm on that one. I 
think I called it earlier this morning, but let me check. All right. Here. What are you doing on here? Well, I I just during the day I got out and uh, I'm thinking to get in on the pullback a little bit. So yeah, but it's not really ready. I think yet. No, so, it, it, it's ready. Uh, uh, on, on it, a five minute, not exactly, but uh, yeah. Okay, so you go and the rest. The rest of showing is ready. Yeah, to do the pullback. Yeah, because it's an interesting one. So yeah, right now. So. So, so you're you're ready on the tray or not? I'm just literally pressing the button right now. So, <laughs> yeah, About to press. yeah. This yeah. is a, this is this is a valid uh, pullback. Uh, yeah, that's what that's exactly what I'm thinking. That it's a valid pullback. That's why I'm considering to enter in. So. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, the good thing is good to. T to take that tray in an early stage. But still, it's, it's still in a valid position. But you should not be in a tray for more than 10, 20, 30 pips. Because remember, you're going against a trend. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Just wait, wait for the reversal. This is what the, this question Elliot asked me yesterday. Mm -hmm. If he would like to enter in the market when the uh, uh, piece of, uh, are in the same direction of the four hours, Right now, it's not going in the same direction of the four hours. If you're not on this tray here, just wait for um, for the uh, minutes information. Yeah, that's and that's then, exactly what I'm waiting for, and I wanted to yeah. confirm. Yeah, just be, yeah, just be a little bit more patient. But at least you know. Look at that; it's retesting your your uh, buy zone here. Yeah. So it's nothing. Look, it, it's basically it's telling you, yeah, be in a buy position. No. You're going with rules. So if, if you want to go and match in everything, just wait for it. Once this guy give you the clean signal here, every so far, so good here. But it's not ready yet. Actually, the magic arrow just popped in, in there. It was like a five candles back. When right? Yeah, it was uh it happened. Yeah, just right now. It just oh. popped in that, <laughs> that uh, magic arrow. Yeah. So I just I just missed it then. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean this magic arrow was uh on the last big green one so this is a good song to be in a buy position yeah and the stop and, and, the, and the stop is very small as well i mean if you take it out yeah yeah but don't trade don't don't go bullish man you just look for sales oh, I I, I, just, I just I just do a lot. You know? I do a lot of pull if I see situations particularly like that, I do the pullback. Sorry, <laughs> I'm I'm not afraid of that. Obviously, I'm not saying that. Uh, all you teach and all you're saying in here is is absolutely hundred percent right. And and what you've put together in here, it's really amazing and and really great system. You know, and. Uh, you know, and, and you are actually a real deal. I'm going to give a shout out for you, okay? So I'm, I'm the one who sent the screenshot with the big numbers yesterday, okay? So, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm not like exactly very newbie. Uh, I, I do know things or two as well, but uh, always looking for the new things as well to apply for myself. And uh, what you've got, particularly with this system right now, uh, with, the, with the parabolics, with the RSI together and, and uh, and all those magic arrows. One of the really valid things is when you see immediately where the market is going and where the trend is going. Okay, that's one of the most valuable things in in entire trading, actually. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. And guys, I mean, earring is really a real deal, and uh, just stick with him. You know, you're gonna learn a lot, <laughs> and uh, you're gonna make a lot of money. So my my profit's been increased. I, I showed the screenshot. So like five. Yeah, five times in a yeah, few days. Yeah, your testimonial was pretty, pretty amazing because you. I think you you say you joined on Monday, right? Yeah. And, and two days later, you double your account from uh, my daily profits, not not account, the daily profits. Okay, I'm looking to double the account yeah. uh, during that like three months or so. Yeah, but I tripled, not double, I tripled the profits, That's the daily awesome, profits. Man. That's awesome. And look, yeah, even like even like though today I am on uh, on uh, almost 17k right now.
Oh, awesome. Good job, man. Yeah, my, my usual profits is about 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3.5 used to be. Yeah, but so I can see now very clearly. So that that is going to help me a lot. And you said you, you, you're tripling uh, you, the lot size of taking two or three more positions, you know, uh, to cover the loss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I, I kind of agree on that, kind of not, you know, but it's a kind of magic game, you know. But uh, you will yeah. get, yeah, watch, time will come and, and you're going to be more confident. Remember, you, I know you do have experience, but you just new to us. So, and so far, you know so what I, do? I, I, I do uh, a lot of hedging. Okay? That's what I do. And also where I found a lot of success for myself, uh, I do a lot of uh, the pair correlation. Right. Okay? So that's the pairs I use a lot. So which has a correlation. I mean, if I'm, for example, taking this trade, so uh, the USD CAD, you know, I know for fact that the Euro, uh, the Euro GPY is going to do a complete opposite. So, right. Yeah. And yeah. That's so, and yeah, you don't need to be, I mean, Using the correlation, for example, you don't need to be running up and down, you know, looking what positions to take. At least, you know, if you're taking this position and you, and you know what it correlates with, so you can go straight away to this one, so take another trade. Good, man. Good job, man. But you know why, why uh, sometimes, uh, I don't know, since you're new, but anyway, a lot of uh, our traders, they also do a screenshot of whatever they're seeing on four hours. Obviously, they know what's going on with the trend. But sometimes they do a screenshot and they post it into our chat room. And that I helps. Do, I will do that later on. There's so many things going on on my screen. Yeah, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, you see, like here, we don't pay for signals. We all are signal providers. So we'll all help our, uh, each other. So let's say, I, I forgot, there was another individual last week that he put an amazing tray on the chat room. And I just, I was on my couch, man. And I saw that tray, I said, holy crap, man, I gotta get in. And boom, and I bank on that one. And then when I came back on Tuesday uh, to do the live analysis, and that was a, a perfect testimonial. So I, because in here, we don't wanna be paying for signal. You, you guys are equipped to be the signal providers to call the trades when they're, when it's ready. Cause you know, you basically what you know, trust me, what you know, anywhere else, they're gonna be teaching you. This is what they're gonna be teaching. Believe it, believe it or not, they're gonna be teaching you high and high, low and low. And that is gonna take what, six months to one year to finally get you to a point where you are right now. And look, coming here with us, you get to know this in, in no time, man. in less than three days. That's what I was about to say, sorry, you know, for everybody. So it's basically, if I would stumble upon a new, when I did start it, that would save me like two, three years. Believe me, man. Yeah, no, I do believe you. I know it. I did spend it that much of time. You know? I spent it loads of years to be profitable, at least start to be profitable, you know, and uh, I am profitable non-stop as well, like uh, three years perhaps now. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I've been doing so many things and you just simplified and it's so clear. So guys, just stick it. Don't be jumping around back and forward and looking for something else. Right. That is, right. Real deal, guys. that is a good point. I said it yesterday and I think I said it on Monday, uh, on Monday as well. Please guys, stick to one rule one way of trading stop going and stop bouncing yourself from one channel to another channel to another channel because at the end of the day your mind is gonna get so confused you're still not gonna know if the market is bullish or bearish just learn one way find your niche and if you want to be a scalper just stick to that one practice for like three six months trust me there's money in there as well if you're gonna go from week to week trust me there's money in there but you need to find your your niche and stick to it, respect yourself. Being disciplined mm -hmm. is the most important part in this business and patience. And the patient, 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 exactly. patient, patient, patient is everything. Patient. <laughs> but, but look at this. Without look, the patient, there's nothing in this. Yeah, a lot of, you know, and also a lot of traders and all the channels, they love to teach you back data. I just don't understand why. There's no money back data. 
unless uh, it, I agree with you. I do, I do study a little bit of fundamentals as well. It helps on the pullbacks, particularly, for example, uh, when you know a little bit of your fundamentals. But that's a very long way to go. And uh, you, you can apply the fundamentals when you really know and understand what you're doing. Yeah, it, it, I just read the back data only to see where the levels are and bingo, that's it. But there is one video in a chat room that you should take a look at it. It's the support and resistance, how we use it here in our, with our multiple time frame. That will help you to understand why I'm calling the payers on Saturday and Sunday, and you should know quick. But now using the template that we are seeing here, everything is piece of cake. From, from here, there's no more adding, man. This is it. This is it, guys. This is the max. We're going to go to it. No more. No, it's really a piece of cake. I mean, all that setup right here, which is on the screen right now, is just out of the moon. It's just, it's really a piece of cake, as you said. You know? yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Keep staying. Okay, I, uh, we, 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 had, we had a really massive conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but thank you, I'm done. So, yeah. Yeah, no so, problem. Anyway, I'm thinking one more thing maybe I'm going to add up. So, on a pullback, the, one of the reasons as well I do the pullbacks, I, I, before I never did, I mean, like long time ago, but the reason I do right now, because I can afford it. Oh. Okay, so I have, I have a big account. I am not afraid of the, uh, uh, if it's going to take me out, okay, and I can afford it. So yeah. I can hedge the positions if I need to, okay, and that's why I do the pullbacks. Otherwise, stick to the stop losses. You know what? Really, guys? really stick it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, oh, yeah. be, I'm gonna be frank, honest with everyone here. I, I, when I started scalping the market, uh, 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 not long ago, uh, I credited my account on my phone one thousand one hundred eighty-one dollars. Right now, it's almost twelve k in there. Fantastic, bro. How long did that take for? A month and a half. No, no, back and forth. So it's, uh, Look, I have not lost a trade, man. Oh, blue, 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 blue. I'll be giving you guys the, uh, the, uh, um, uh, was the screenshot of the, um, or the Excel spreadsheet that I created. I don't know if you have it, but it's, it's on the chat room. I already pinned it in there. But let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm not making this up, man. This is, I love to use freaking awesome, man. Uh, let me go here. Let me bring this up. Look at here. Look at right now, today. Uh, what's my real profit here? 790. Today is 790, right? So, so I will say it's here, 780. There's no 790 here. So uh, all I do is I clear this up and I remove what I had here before. Then now I'm gonna put this here, equal, da, enter, 780. Look at, this is what I did last Wednesday. Last week was 800 bucks. Today is 780, I was shy. 20 bucks. Last Monday was 430. This past Monday was only 110. Fine. La look at this. Tuesday, last Tuesday was 340. This Tuesday was 240 bucks. Right now, this is Wednesday, 780. Last Wednesday was 800. So far, 1100 in three days. This is it, man. Too magic here. A month is forty five hundred. A year is a part time. Look at this PT, guys. This is a freaking PT, man. You can fire your boss. Game over. What is gonna be tomorrow? Look, previous Friday was five forty, right? Four forty. Look at look at uh, Friday. Friday was three seventy. So I still got two more days. What is gonna be? I don't know. I don't know. My goal is to be this, this two weeks here. But yeah, it's there. This is, this is one account. There, I'm using three account guys. Yes, sir. Um, I just wanted to double check something. You were you were talking about stop loss before. Yeah. Um, the 
have you gone to using a fixed number of stop loss regardless of where the brothers and sisters are? Or are you still using your stop loss uh, 30, 40 pips beyond the brothers and sisters? Right here. Yeah, 30, 40 pips. Okay. If it take you out, like, a, like it took us out on, uh, I think it was GBPUSD. Yeah, GBPUSD and USDCHF. Nothing you can do, Elliot. But it look, it took us out for what to boom reverse back. But that, that stop loss was more than 70 pips. That's fine, but it, it did exactly what we predicted. Mm -hmm. it yeah, it did. But uh, sometimes it's gonna happen. But look at this pair. That, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry, look, uh, you just here's a hint, you know, like for example, on the USD CAD, okay, because as I said, I'm going to take. I already actually took it. So uh, the pullback position, okay? So, uh, and it's gonna take you out, but you know the market is bearish, okay? So you're definitely going to make that money back anyway, okay? So on the next trade, that's what we explained previously, I believe so. Yeah, yeah it's gonna take some time. Um, yeah. I, yeah. That, that's, that's what I, I don't like PV. Look at that, PV. Well, it's just you're just wasting your money, man. It's just sitting in there. I know patient. If your account is 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 is, is, uh, is it has pretty good amount of cash in there, you find. Yeah, you know you know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a stop loss in here. I'm going because the market is bearish anyway. Okay, right. it's a bearish. So but in general, so I'm gonna do. Uh, 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 I'm gonna put uh, um, how you call that the the limit order <laughs> below. And if it's open, it's open. I just leave it till it comes to the profits. That's yeah, it. your your TP should be in here on this level here. Yeah, somewhere here. Thirty-two to thirty in there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then boom, it's gonna bounce down. Yeah, it's gonna take time to get there because you. Uh, what time? Uh, what time frame are you trading in? Uh, usually I do four hours, but I look. Um, mainly, I'm using four hours and one hour. Okay, okay. let's in this one. Yeah, that's fine. Those two are, those two time frames are good. Four hours is good if you're gonna go on vacation or, or you know, do something. Uh, else. So yeah, no. now after start using this one, I'm, I I started applying the five minutes as well. Okay. And yeah, I, I, I love I love one hour and five and five minutes for scalping, right? And yeah. one hour just leave it on for the rest of the week. My other. Yeah. So I, I never been using before five minutes. Okay. I, I never did scalping in entire whatever I did. I tried a little bit and liked it. So yeah, I moved on. So and now what I see, I just love it. Okay. And yeah. I'm definitely going to apply it. I'm still looking into the scalping. Okay. Uh, I wanted to finish the elections. We'll see how it goes because I have pretty much mapped out all my election the week. <laughs> so yeah. And uh, yeah. So I'm definitely going to apply it. That's good. That's good. But this was a good, a good explanation. Thank you anyway. Uh, be careful, guys, for the rest of the week. Um, remember, all you need to be your honest trading in this market is two, three good trades in a week. I'm giving you guys 12 pairs. 12 pairs is more than enough. And uh, this week, three went against us. This is the very first week. October was 100%. This week... We had three in our belt, three against us. So still, still a damn pretty good number. Nine out of 12, uh, nine out of three. So still a good number. So we're still over the 75. So hell yeah. Trading multiple time frame. but thank you guys for coming in. Um, I think we're gonna let it go now. So stay healthy. Hopefully by, as soon as we finish this, we're gonna have a, a new president or either the same president who knows but it doesn't matter a multiple time frame is all it matters making money here so thank you guys god bless you and god bless the united states thank you very much Erving. you yes. are helpful thank really you, thank you guys bye 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 bye,